What up, baby? Excuse me, I super burped. You are a burp. All right, yo, why You're don't made you of like burps. put the chat over? You want it over there? No, but you keep covering it. Dude, relax. Yo, hello, T and Christy. Christy, did you actually finish the book? Because, like, I took an extra week, and I just finished it, like, 30 minutes ago. And she started, like, two days ago. How's your coffee? Is it all pumpkin? Yeah. It's all right. Tastes different. Pumpkin. I don't dislike it. I wouldn't like it every day, though. But it's nice, like, it's nice and cold, too, in here. So it's, like, nice to have, like, a nice, warm, nice, nice. You know, I, I said nice too many times. Hey, Link, what up, dog? I mean, what the heck, bro? I mean, cat. Look at what you. What the heck? Look at you. Hi, you haven't said hi in a long time. What's up? Okay, can you get you off of your awkward? You want to come to me? Oh, my God. Get that butt up. Yeah, you are a good <laughs> boy. You're a good cat, dog. Uh, you, d uh, Dude, by the end, I was up to two times speed, which... I was understanding and I was able to follow along with two times speed, but it's not. I think my preferred speed for this book is about 1.7. Which is what Christy just said. Yeah, like that's a, a good speed. Yeah, that's what I did too. Um, that is, that's the speed that I, I listened to the whole thing at. It was good. But I can't believe you finished it, dude, because like, it's, Me? Uh, dude, Christy, Me? She, oh. just, she just started it like two days ago. Oh, what? Yeah. That's 20, that's. Like that's like that's like most of the day you 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 had to listen to it in like three times speed. That's impossible. It wasn't two days ago. I th I feel like you're exaggerating. I Maybe four days ago or something. Uh, I think it was like two. Eight eight hours a day. Link, bro, stop. What's For wrong with you? Yeah, you don't see Link very often. No, who you really don't see is Winry. I don't think we've ever shown her. T said it was too long. I really enjoyed it. I don't know. Like I, I think it it was too long in a way that like a TV show is too long and you're just you're just sitting through the whole season 1 in one week or something. It kind of felt like that. It felt like a really it definitely was long, but it, I loved it. I really liked it. It's it like it was a little different than the normal lit RPGs that I'm used to, but I think it was it was still, it was just a little different, right? But I, I think all the characters were really good. The two main characters were great, and they were different enough. I do have questions. About the very end. Yeah. I well, was like, eh. so, okay. I was like, wait, where is she? Also, is the old guy the king? Because I think he's the king, the dragon guy. I think that's the king that they show, they talked about in that one part. Interlude. That interlude, yeah, where they're like, I the guess king. it would kind of make sense because they do talk about his transition, right? Like, they talk about him being a man. Like, I thought that it was very well written, I must say. Like, it, it was very easy to catch, like, what was going on. And, like, it was detailed, but not too so detailed. So it was definitely written like um, a light novel. Yeah. 100% it was written like a light novel where it was just, like, they tell you what happens, the end. There isn't any fluff. There's no, like, like that, like, descriptive but anyway, Bullshit that so a like lot of books at the have. beginning, like the king was just staring at his throne. He refused to sit in it. Then he talked to like the human. Now, which human was that? Is someone else? It was like, probably one of his servants, right? No, it, it was yeah. a human that came into the land, and they were telling him about our world. And he no, just, no, it came into like his like tomb or castle or whatever the hell he was, and but anyway, and was like, like he awakening learned that him. There were like greater things, right? Also, he talked about like having like twins. Wasn't there like twins? siblings one of them had a phone they dropped it and broke it and the sister was yelling at the brother oh shoot about i don't that. remember any of that but but anyway th those were humans obviously from our world that were tra transported over and then he had to ask them a bunch of questions like he but started they do asking mention them. like a semi-transition for him because the human character that i don't remember their name at at that point with the interlude with the king was just like wow now he's a king like Something happened, and he switched gears in his head, and he they were just like, bam, like, he changed. Like, now he's like, and then the guy walks in, the servant guy, and he's like, no, I'm going to sit on my throne now, blah, blah, blah. Um, Chrissy said, I spent a whole day listening. It was four days ago. I enjoyed it a lot. That's more reasonable. Yes, the twins are the ones with this king. Oh, okay. So... I thought it ended on such a good cliffhanger. 
yeah. where like her phone rings, Ryoka. Yeah. I was just like, what? Your cell phone just I, rang. I thought like, I thought um, Aaron was going to like see her and see that she had like a phone in her hand or something and she was listening to music. And I was going to be like, this is the moment where they meet and then it's going to end. And then it was just like the phone rings. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. How is it ringing? I do kind of like that they, they set it up to essentially be inevitable that they're going to meet because she talks about going to the But then they never meet. But they didn't meet yet. But you know it's going to happen. I was like, God damn it. It's going to be nice. I like that it didn't happen like halfway through the book and whatever, you know, but they kept like the characters kept interacting with each other. That was really fun. That's like a dream of mine is to run like two simultaneous campaigns that take place in the same world. Like and Matt Mercer does kind of deal. No, they don't really do that. Oh. But, like, I, other people have done it for sure. But, like, I think that would be really cool to have, like, two groups that are maybe in, like, two different areas. And things that happen here influence them. And then maybe they'll have a crossover. You know, like, some people from one go to the other. And then you could have people, like, join each other's games. I think something like that would be, like, super, like, a dream of mine to mm. be able to successfully do it well. I feel like... And I don't know. So T finished this book like two weeks ago. And I think I remember her saying she gave it a 3.5, which is very sad to me because I think this is one of my two five-star books that I'm rating this year as five-star. I've been having such a bad time, but I enjoyed so much about this book. And there wasn't a single moment where I was like bored. And um, even though it was super long, like 1,200 pages, I still never found myself like, bored waiting for it to end like you know i felt like so much happened but i enjoyed the story so much and the way it was written to the point where it didn't matter i felt like it was like hanging out with a friend or yeah. watching it was like watching an anime like for sure it was just like it was like there isn't a lot at stake right now right but it's like i really want to know what happens to this human in this and it's it's just it it pulls at like my like, oh man, I wish I could go to a fantasy world where leveling existed. Like I love that. Like that's what, why I like those types of books. That's why I like lit RPGs, okay? And isekais are my favorite anime. And it's just like, I watch bad ones just because there aren't a lot of good ones out there, but they're just like, it's so cool. And I feel I, like they can make a really cool anime out of this book. Oh yeah, yeah. It would. I think it would definitely be a good show as opposed to that. If it ever gets to the point, I really hope they don't make a movie out of it because... Mm, oh, my God. It's ugh. way too long and way too much. I feel... I, so, I guess my biggest question is... Okay, wait. Let's go back a little bit. The I instantly downloaded the second book and started listening to it this morning. Have you noticed how long the second book is? 60 hours. Have we gotten the second book yet? No. Can but we get we're it? totally getting yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chrissy said, I think it's a 4.5 to 5 for me, too. T said 3.5 because I feel like the pace changed near the end and it felt different, but I enjoyed dude, the Dude, the end was but nuts, I dude. It. Oh, my God. It built up for that. Oh, fucking Skinner, dude, man. So I'm sorry I dude, cursed. Dude, that thing was so creepy. But, like, Skinner was so... And I was just like, man, this is written so well. Like, yeah. like how... Like, Detailed. Like, well, just how... Uh, how like, they described how powerful it. it was and how they all died. Right? Like so that that's whole that's party died. one of the died. things I was going to ask you. Is that... Or did the girl live? I don't think I, so. I think they said something about her at the end, I No, thought. I think the girl, there's two that kind of their names sounded similar, I believe. And one of them was like the the receptionist. Oh, okay. Yeah, she got like some but ranger. But I think literally the entire party ranger. died. Yeah, that was awesome. And I like, I and really dude, liked the them. the skeleton started leveling up. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, we knew that. We knew that he leveled up because he but had already he was leveled like to getting two. Like, yeah, smarter. Yeah, yeah. They, you kind of and, like very and he quickly took, go through his mindset. He took Skinner's like heart thing or whatever, right? Yeah, he took something and like put it in his brain and, so yeah, no one would his, know. He, he swallowed and it. And it says like he glue red temporarily, like resin or something. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It's so no, good. Like, yeah, like he used some sort of like thing to stick it up in there. But um, I love how they brought things. Back I really a hope. Lot. I really hope he doesn't like become bad. You know. Rags yeah. was such a good character. Yeah. The little goblin, she was great. Like they, they were, But I love how they kept bringing that back. So like at the end, really, the goblins are the ones that killed Skinner. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're the literally ones that, the ones that like threw all their acid bottles. So that's a throwback to the that yeah, point the where acid, like the acid she gave thing them was the so weapons good. and yeah. everyone was like, What are you doing giving the goblins yeah, yeah, yeah. weapons? Blah blah and, blah. 
And then they're the ones that killed the and thing. And the acid was one of like the first things like set up at the beginning of the story. Like the first arc yeah. where it had the acid and blah, blah, blah and all of that. And the goblins and it, it all like came back. It was just written well. Like there, everything in it was was significant. Everything was important. Freaking, what the, What about the fact that What's-His-Face kind of came back? Dude, okay. So the, I normally liked it. I, I thought don't it was like cool. that stuff, but I truly thought he was dead. Yeah. However, like, once they said the queen was doing something, like, I had a feeling that's what was going to happen. I thought that she was going to, like, give her ownership of the hive to Aaron. Oh, no. That's what I thought. I was just like, I was like, oh, maybe Aaron will become, like, the next queen. Thought, and then when Aaron said, I'm the queen... I'm not a king. The, oh, I was just like of the end. I was like, oh, maybe, maybe I no was right way. about that this. That queen is way too like. like She's obviously not because she brought back what's his face. Yeah, but like, and remember that she. They she, even said like they all have a hive mind, so they knew that what he did was like a good thing. But most likely, here's the thing too. Too most likely, the thing with um, with her bringing him back, like you got to realize that that other inquisitor, whatever the hell he was. Prognagator. Oh. Um, the other, I don't know how I remember these. Like, that's what I'm saying. This book is written in a way that, like, just is simple, right? It's a, it's simple writing, but, like, in the best kind of way. It's not simple in a bad way, like, or a stupid way. Yeah, like, it's simple in a, like, but it's, it's, it's simple easy in a, to understand. It's easy to understand, and it's, and, and that's why I enjoyed it so much. And, like, I love, I love these types of books, and that's why I like, I like Overlord, and I like, I like, from what I overlord still the first light novel I've ever read. I'm hoping that this next Spice and Wolf or whatever is okay and it's not too girly because it seems like it's gonna be super girly. Um, I thought this book would be kind of girly, but it so, totally wasn't. So when the old Prognagator was doing the like r not uh, not helping the city and stuff, yeah. right? And then when Kilbich came back, he uh, he was like, "Yo, you're a jerk." We got to do this. If we had done this from the beginning, everybody would have been okay, and yeah. more soldiers and stuff would have survived, and the hive would have been good. Um, so, like, obviously, the he knows the queen better, probably. Yeah. So that's well, probably Christy what the said, queen I would have the done. The queen had some affection for him. I agree. I obviously she took three weeks of her life bringing him back um, and giving him a new body. But I did I did find it interesting how they upgraded the body. Yeah. So now eventually, like. Are they all gonna get that body? Because no. they said like, he also said like, no, it took the too many. Never died. It, it took too many resources. Yeah, because yeah, they're right. like a hive mind or whatever. So oh, I see. Remember, Christy um, said, "I wish Rags could speak more. Maybe she will. Maybe eventually. she will. Yeah. I mean, like, she's she seems smart. to be like the smartest one. Yeah, and she's leveling. Yeah, they they're all leveling, right? I don't get the whole Ryoka thing and not leveling like." Yeah, I, don't I don't get, get her either. whole like pride. So basically, this I whole guess you time, can't love every character. But here's the thing, but... though: this whole time, she's like that fast naturally. So she can't be that fast because she's a human. Yeah, but they talk about how, like, in her real life, like she did parkour. And, I, I like, get it, but but she was like running take, marathons. Take the epitome of a human. The epitome, no, the the pinnacle of a human. It also seemed like, don't forget that they said like people that did that job either died early in life or they like, once they made enough money, they stopped because it's a I very get it, dangerous but I job. I imagine that when you become a runner and you start doing it a little bit, you get faster, you get like abilities from becoming the runner class. Yeah. And it's know. just like, she's just a human at this point then. And like, that seems not realistic. During this whole war, I that was my biggest question is like, what happened with her? Like, I don't remember what was going on with her while this whole thing was going on. Also, what was up with Skinner? Who summoned him? How did he come to be? Maybe like, we never the, found the, um, the king necromancer. Guy? Oh. Because they keep saying, like, necromancer, and they're like, oh, not that guy, Pisces. And yeah. they're like, no, the necromancer. Yeah. So they've referenced the necromancer, like, several times, but, like, you never met him. Yeah. Oh, dude, you know what I realized? But a bunch of those undead went back into that. What's those the ruins. what's the 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 Drake's um the main guy the spear guy what's what's his Relk? name Relk he hasn't seen Kilbich right yeah Kilbovich. oh my god it's gonna be so good I said it right Kilgovich I think it no, is no it's Kilbich Kilgovich Kilbich breakfast Kil it's Kilbich <laughs> Kil uh, T say Kilbich <laughs> how do you spell it I don't know how it's spelled but the way she says it is Kilbich um. Like, a lot of the names in this are, like, 
word or letters that don't go together, like you know, like a it's, KV. That's, that's reasonable because it's a different species, mm. and you know they probably do things differently. But um, but yeah, what was going on with Ryoka at that point? Because then at the end, yeah, I don't know where she's she like, was. Hey, I heard about this inn. I'm gonna go try to go to this inn. I still don't really know why. What's her face wants Ryoka? She just because she's an outworlder and she wants to know more about this. Out, like she has a lot of. They all have a lot of information about this other world that who knows what abilities. You, like like imagine if somebody from our world brought science. Yeah. Because you know when when a world develops with magic, it's completely different than science, he right? Said yeah, sure, but I don't know to what. Kilbuk. Oh. Um. um. So do you know what I'm saying? Like like it evolves with magic. It's going to be completely different than if it evolves with. Uh, oh, take perfect example of this. Full Metal Alchemist. I know you guys probably haven't watched it, but you may remember. Um, our world was the same world as their world, but it was we evolved with science and they evolved with alchemy. I re- they talk about that at the very end, right? Yeah, yeah. And at, there was that movie where the main character goes through like that gate thing and they find themselves in our world where alchemy doesn't exist and they can't do basically can't do magic, but they can they have science, you know, they have like airships and stuff like that. Um, it's still like medievally, but or not medievally, but like steam era yeah. type stuff. But I com- kind of remember that compared to everything being powered Oops. by by magic by mana, basically it's powered differently. You know, um, she wants so info yeah. on our world, yes, to get more power in their world. I mean, obviously, yeah, like, like that's a nuclear a big thing, weapon, right? I, that I also found kind of funny was like Ryoka's like, hell no, I'm keeping all this secret. If this all got out, like you guys would just like create nuclear bombs basically and like kill everybody. But then you have people like Aaron that are just like, yeah, I'll tell you everything about my world. <laughs> like, let's just talk about everything. And then like the twins <laughs> told the king certain things. So you've got like several You areas. remember the twins now? I, no, well, no, but oh. <laughs> they've said it. <laughs> they said that they told them stuff? No, they said the twins were with the king. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I said that. And you were like, and I then don't. Christy backed you up. I don't know. Oh, you're strong. He went, oh, uh, uh, my straw <laughs> fell. <laughs> um, uh, the chest, so the much. whole chest thing was super interesting. Um, I was like just waiting for like this in it. I was just like, why don't you just get 5,000 gold, find some builders, <laughs> and just have them build something? I like, I want it. I like the leveling system. I like the whole like interface thing where they get like a. I feel like. The skeleton has more to him than scary, scary skeleton. Than people are giving him credit for. You know what I mean? Like, well, no, he's I, he's advanced. Remember? Like, yeah, but like everyone's just like, oh, he's supposed to be your protection. Like, ew, he's not that strong. Yeah, but um, but, but Pisces, like she also was just like, hey, clean the upstairs. And two minutes later, it was like perfect. It was clean. the next day. Oh. She slept. He woke up, and and she she was like, why aren't you cleaning? And yeah. then he's like, and she's like, why don't you clean the ceiling? God damn it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like she's so mean to him. Well, because she didn't, I don't think she saw him as like a person yet until she named him, right? Now she's seeing him a little bit more as a, as a person and he's becoming more of a person. At that point, she, she he was just like a puppet um, to her at least. And then, um, so I really like Pisces. I, I thought he was going to be like a side character, but he ended up being like super important. I feel important. like there's several main oh, characters. I, just, I feel I, like some of the people down in the city, I get confused with who mm. they are. Okay, um, like who? Well, like just describe them. You I don't have to say their names. I don't know. Like they'll they'll All be right. talking. about So there's someone. a couple of people. There's the the pretty boy runner, right? Yeah, I don't remember. He's like the 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 guy in charge of the runners. Like he's like yeah. unofficially in charge. I don't know I his don't name either. Him. No, I mean, I'm, like, I'm just gonna go through the characters. Aren't there like several adventuring guilds too? Like we no. kind of met. No, there's one, and then we there, only met the one. Yeah, there's only guild. Or, you know what I mean? The groups. The group. Um, yeah, no, we really only met the one that died. The other, there's, there's, uh, the gazer, the half gazer. G- oh, yeah, Gazer, J- yeah, yeah. G- Gazzy, Gazzy, Gazzy. Yeah, 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 um, the girl that's, like, famous. Ha- half gazer, she has, like, one eye, you know? Yeah. Like, she's, she's basically a, oh, just so D&D fans here, uh, a gazer is, like, a mini beholder. A holder? Yeah. Um, they're like, so there's, but it, she's it, like humanoid. it's in the, she's half gazer, oh. in, which is extremely rare apparently. But, um, so gazers, specters, 
spectators, sorry, gazers, spectators, and beholders. Those are like all in the same family. Gazers are the weakest in D&D. They only have like four eye stocks, and then they have the big one, one big eye. Um, spectators are the ones that, that one that you guys fought in the sewers. Mm. The one that, it was pretty decently powerful. And, and each eye has like a different ability. Each eye, eye has a different ability, exactly. Exiled. Hello. It said it took me quite a while to get into it, and I didn't like them killing off half the cast at the end, but it was oh, enjoyable. Oh, I loved it. I still feel like there are so many characters in this world that I don't think it's half the cast. Some of them may still be alive. I am stick by my theory. If you don't see the body, there's a possibility that they can come back. I mean, they described them kind of dying, but yeah. you don't really know. So some of them may still be alive yeah. if they go into the ruins. No. Who knows? But no. I don't mind books and authors that are afraid to kill off their characters. Wait, that are afraid? I don't mind them when they aren't afraid. Oh, okay, aren't afraid. Because, like, it makes it more interesting no. and realistic. Yeah, it's stupid when they don't. They need to, people like, need I, to die. I, a part of me is like, do I want Kilgovich or whatever to come back? Kilbukich. And then it's just like... Yeah, I like him. He can come back. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it was interesting. I like that he came back because he wasn't just, and they hinted at it. They hinted that he wasn't dead. You know, he lives inside of them, the memory, blah, blah, blah. They all saw. So, like, that was cool. It, it was, it was, why it he was did what he did. Part and... of the world. Also, he, they specifically even said a lot of resources were put into this. It wasn't a free action. It wasn't just like, yeah, oh, I'll just cast a spell and magic, boom. You know, it, it, it was expensive for the, for the Antennium to do that. And then also, the the queen like took three or three weeks or whatever it was to do yeah, it. Three weeks. I think. It, it wasn't again. It wasn't free, right? And then the other characters is just so sad because like we got to know them. They helped the main character. Like they, it was just like it was so good. And like characters need to die. It, it sucks when like everybody has plot armor and they can't die. I I hope that one either Aaron or um. Ray, Re, Re, no, the girl. Oh, Ryoka. Ryoka. By the end of the series, one of them either dies or gets maimed or some crazy thing happened. Granted, Ryoka already got maimed. Um. Okay. Wait. I love the goblins, though. T said, "Yet we saw the yet we saw the body of the guy that the queen brought back." True. So I'm not. I'm. I mean, my logic is not always correct, and that's why in my head I thought he was dead, but. Granted, I mean, there may be other magics that can bring characters back, like in this. They haven't, well, like the, they haven't the, said that, re, re, uh, like that, you know, they can't cast, cast revive person or something, right? Or no, or revivify is a quick one that yeah. has to be done right away. I don't mind people dying, but the whole team dying was a bit extreme. It's, it's realistic. Yeah, they went man. into a huge raid. I mean, do you ever play like MMOs or like big RPGs or D&D? Because like, that's a real possibility. Like you could get yourself into a situation where you can't yeah. get out of it. They went into this dungeon essentially and were confronted by this huge enemy that they could not defeat with just their small group. It took an entire town basically to beat them. Yeah, my second game in a in a Oops. game recently that I played, my character died. I think it's totally realistic the way it happened. And then like he, if they were to actually die. He died and he's now dead forever. Because my party was too low level, so they couldn't bring me back. Um, and it then happens. our first game that we ever played, you, me, and, and Fedge. Yeah. We all died. Yeah, yeah. We all died. He allowed our, us to basically remake our characters because it was like a, a demo game. Yeah, well, I mean, we didn't continue from there, though. We started no, a completely started, different yeah. game. Like, those characters died. That universe, those characters were dead. So Christy said, same, I'm okay with them dying off, but I need a conclusion. I feel like there was a conclusion, a conclusion in this. I mean, it's the first book. You have to realize, too, and I think this is another thing. Like, I went into it knowing there are, like, Ten, several yeah, books. A lot, yeah. And this author is, like, cont it's, a, it's a free web, like, series. Ser I don't know if you call it a series, but it's a free, like, oh. online story. You can go on there. I think there's nine volumes now. Like, there's the ninth one sh they're working on. But, like, that's a lot. I mean, I think yeah. I went into it knowing, like, <laughs> this is just, like, a slice of the, the information that is out there in this story. So I thought it ended amazingly because, like, the second her phone rang, I was just like, oh, my God, I uh, want to yeah, know what's going to go super, on. I was excited about it. It was good. Yeah, this book had it. I meant in general. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I feel like 
the the party of people dying totally made sense. I think more more characters or more authors need to kill off main characters or at least main side characters. You know? I still stand by that Harry Potter should have died. I still stand Probably. by m- somebody more. Imp- one of the big three should have died. Yeah, that that's what I think. You know? Like if there's no stakes, like I don't know. That's one of the things that pisses me off about. Uh, I know Jay Kristoff. Jay Kristoff. He's a little he bitch. He made a comment that like he She's couldn't defi- finish Harry Potter. Like, uh, he couldn't finish it because he knew that none of the three main characters could die. And then he totally, basically, did the same thing in his book. So it's just like. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I I I like when authors have. I mean, here, here's the, the thing, guts though. To do that, he technically died. Who? Harry, and then just oh, was brought back to life. You know, like he technically died. So you can the same thing probably that happened in pretty in much, that book. Yeah, she technically much. died. Probably, you know. I haven't even read it, but I'm, I have a feeling that that's what happened. The fact that no one could. Something scry of Ryoka because her name's scry. Like, oh, because her name is actually in kanji. That was very clever. That was cool. Yeah. I there's just so many things in this book, and I feel like I I want to do some research and figure out how long this author's been like working on this, and like there's a whole like apparently a group of people that like really love their stories and stuff because she's they I keep calling it a she. I don't know if it's a boy or girl. Uh, I get a she vibe too. Um but like there's like a whole merch shop and apparently like she had a frying pan that they were selling on the merch shop and it sold out. It was like really cool though cuz it had like the wandering in like mm. logo and stuff. I'm we like, should make a we should make a a, a D&D class called Innkeeper. <laughs> the Innkeeper class. I I really enjoy it. Like I feel like the older I get, the more angry I get when uh, publishers and people just keep churning out the same nonsense over and over. And, like, I feel like this book was really genuinely good. Yeah, even though there wasn't, like, a protagonist. Is it protagonist? Antagonist. Like, throughout the whole thing. It was basically just the world was yeah. the antagonist, you know? And the monsters um, in the world. But, again, they weren't, like... They were like little bits of it, right? But it was yeah. like kind of like the world was against the At two the main end, characters. There was one, but like that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, but throughout most of the book, it was just and, and normally I don't like it that. It truly is like a slice of life. Yeah, you know? normally I don't like that. Normally I hate that. But like, there was enough of the all of the things that I like in there, like the the leveling, the progression. You know, like I love progression. That's why I love D and D. Is I, I I need to feel like I'm getting stronger. That's why I like games that are like that. That's why I can't play things like um, like Fortnite and like multiplayer, like just fighting games like that, because there's no progression. You finish the, 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 that game, and it was like that was that game. Now you start over when you start a new game. You basically don't have any stuff. You, and then you play for a half an hour, and then you start over. And you, play, you know what I mean? I hate games like that. I, mm-hmm. just, I, I need to feel like I'm accomplishing something yeah, as opposed yeah. to just and getting stronger. Yeah. And, yeah. Veronica Roth had the guts to do. <laughs> To do it, and everyone hated her for it. Who's that? It's an author. No, I, <laughs> I don't I figured, remember what she what did wrote. They write? I don't think I've never written read anything. Scary, scary skeleton. Um, I keep having this cough. Well, don't cough into the mic. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh wait, hold on. Divergent. There we go. That book series was terrible. Did you read it? I read the first, like, one and a half, and I was like, nope, I'm done. Did I read I it? Hate it? I think you did. What was the cover look like? Books. No, nah, I never read that. These? Divergent. That's why I'm addicted to reading lit RPGs, the progression, progression, but the author needs to balance the leveling. Too much power leveling just makes the characters uh, too overpowered too quickly. I agree, like, sometimes, but you get into, like, the Dragon Ball thing or, like, the, the Naruto thing, right? Yeah, like, no, no, no. You're super powerful, power. and then it's, like, but now you, there's this enemy that's more powerful, well, and then po- you have to... Po- it's power creep, right? Yeah. It's It's that thing where you, yeah, you always think that, like, where you are, it's like, wow, these guys are super strong, and then two seconds later, this guy that's slightly stronger shows up, and now they have to get up stronger, 
and they have to get up. I feel stronger. like Aaron in this book is leveling very fast. I think she's so like too. level like eighteen. I, or something. I thought it was like a, a Earthling thing, you know, since they're from a different planet, they get some sort of boost yeah. to their leveling or but something. But like then they talked about like normal everyday people and how they never really get past like level thirty ish, but you can go up to like what did they say sixty? But then they kind of like pushed it off as oh maybe it's because she had such a hard time and she came to death. She, at death's door so many times and that's maybe even why towards the end like at the very end she leveled up maybe it's 13 dude she fought a literal like god thing yeah. like god skin duo but built into she had one that super powerful acid that they you know but she didn't make the acid she no, just but she harvested it no i know but i'm saying like maybe that's why she leveled so much at the end because she, they, yeah, she did three levels at the end they beat it and i still feel like that's not enough she should have leveled up Who like was the ultimate one that killed the thing it was the goblins, I think right? It was the goblins. Yeah, I don't they know. They killed it. It was like a lot was going on at the end that, like, then, and this like, happens to me all the time with books. I, like, the end, I never remember all the little yeah. details. It's always, I always have a hard time. I feel like I remember it pretty well, though. I also just finished it like an hour ago. Yeah, that's true. Uh. I don't know. I really like this. This is one of my favorite books of the year. Possibly my favorite. I don't remember what else I read this year, but. I mean, you're. Your top books that you have on there are Overlord, mm, I yeah, believe. Yeah, I over, mean, which I'm not Overlord allowed to read, dope. so I guess not. this will next let me year, out. Next year, we'll read, we'll read Overlord as a, as a group thing. So, It'll be fun. And then you guys are all going to hate it. To diverge from these super lengthy <laughs> books, uh, because I obviously couldn't even finish the book in time, we're going to read a light novel. This is my first light novel. You're like third. Or fourth? Sixth. Oh, my God. I'm on book six. No, but different series. Oh, so it's my second. Oh, second light novel? But, I mean, I thought you just meant, like, no. like book. But we're just going to be reading volume one of Spice and Wolf. It seems like... I have no idea what it's about, but it looks, like, super girly, so it I'm, says, I'm not... The life of a traveling merchant is a lonely one, a fact that which Craft Lawrence is well acquainted. Wandering from town to town with just his horse, cart, and whatever wares come his way, this peddler has pretty well settled into his routine until the night... Wait, that is until the night Lawrence finds a wolf goddess asleep in his cart, taking the form of a fetching girl with wolf ears and a tail. Holo, or hollow, has wearied of tending to harvest in the countryside and strikes up a bargain with the merchant to lend him the cunning of Hollow the wise wolf to increase his profits in exchange for taking her along on his travels. I don't want to read the rest. It seems like... Like a, a, a character driven slice like, of life, yeah, sort of. But I'm hoping I like it. It has good reviews. The goblins ate it. <laughs> oh, yeah, they ate like the fleshy bits. Ah, nice. Um, yeah, Spice and Wolf. So that'll be it's a very short novel. So, I what what day is uh, the 29th, maybe October 29th? Beep, boop, boop, no, 30th. 30th, yeah. October 30th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right before Halloween. I gave it a four. Enjoyable but, it, enjoyable, but it was a slow start and had a couple of bits that I didn't like. What bits didn't you like? Well, they were the one that said they didn't like all of them dying at the end. Anything else? Slow to start. Well, no. Slow to start and bits that they didn't yeah. like. So those are two separate things. Possibly three. Because bits is more than one bit. Uh, bits. So it's a minimum of three. I don't think there's anything I didn't like. That's why I have to give it a five stars. Like, I enjoyed the whole journey. I totally want to bring in Kilbuch and uh, what's his face? I keep forgetting. Relk. Relk. Uh, Relk. I loved Relk. He was great. They're all great. I don't I don't think there's any characters I truly dislike. Really. Me neither. I, I like them all. Um, there are 22 volumes for Spice and Wolf. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a light novel. That's how they, that's how they're written. They're short too, though. Like even like Overlord, um, right now there's like 15 or something. I can't remember. I think I got this on Audible for like a couple bucks. Like, you know, they don't have them all on Audible right now, though. I think there's only up to five. Light novels are like super easy to read, though. Like they're, like I said, they're not. They're like this, right? They're probably written like, like I would imagine romance books are written. You know, except the story's more interesting usually because it has some Romance sort of books are very easy to read. That's what I'm saying. Like, you always say that they're super easy to yeah, read. Yeah, they're just, like, <laughs> for me, when I want, like, a break from, like, all the 
the fantasy and the sci-fi and all that stuff, I usually pick up a little Yeah, well, because those authors just try to, like, bang out as much But I like the way they're written. It depends on can. the author, obviously, but I do, like, I, I, I just know what I'm expecting, and I, I get what I expect. And uh-huh. Like, that's what I like. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of volumes, but. I mean, it's. It is what it is. It doesn't. We're not reading all of them. We're reading one, one. and then then if you, you like it. You can continue. The point that. of the book club, right, is to read like different things and and try stuff so that you know, like I've tried. Obviously, how many books now? Nine different books this year, and I only liked one of them. So, like, it's the point of it is so that you try some other stuff with other people, and then if it's bad, we all just shit on it. If it's good, then maybe you want to keep reading it by yourself. You know. Um, like you, you really liked Black Prism and yeah, you're we read book moving two. on to the third book. Yeah. I'm, you know, we're going to be reading that soon. So it, I, that's the whole point of it, you know, but I don't know, maybe this one will be, would be good or maybe it'll just be good enough to like, you know, but it shouldn't take too long. You could probably finish it in like a day. I definitely don't think like, even though we pushed this one back a week, I don't think we'll have to push the other one back because it's oh, very I see. short. I see. <laughs> well, that's it. Oh my God. Shut up. With your coughing, dude. Do you want some coffee for your coughing? It didn't help. I'm surprised you didn't pick a thriller this month. I thought about it. There's no such thing as thrillers. But this was more of a thriller at the end. That freaking Skinner and that name was, I was just like, oh, Skinner. This and the is a fact good that name. it just like touched you and ripped all your skin off. Uh, it was so good. It, like, I honestly felt like creeped out by yeah. it. Like, when I was reading, I was just like, this thing's in, like, like, he said Unstoppable you, she force. She said you liked Shade Slinger. That was this year? Maybe. Um, T, listen, I was just giving you guys an example, all right? Like saying, like, we read a lot of stuff, different things, just to try it out. I don't know. You don't though, have to like, point out honestly, that I'm wrong, I'm still you jerk. so far behind in my books this year, and I've, like, I've been hating so much that I'm reading that, like, I did look into a thriller or a horror. It's but because I you listen to the Discord I on what you want to read. I couldn't find anything. That's not true. I mostly listen to like YouTube and you Goodreads. Stop but then listening I'll ask to YouTube. them what they think. But you should ask me. Honestly, like I'm in such a slump lately that I just wanted to go with my gut and read something that I think I'll truly like. Huh. Tried it. Because I horror, as much as I love horror, it's very hard for me to find something I truly like. Mm. Like, I feel like you have those pinnacle shows and stuff like Haunting of Hill House, but it's like everything you watch or read, you're just trying to reach that level of greatness. And yeah, there's it, like, no doesn't. such thing as horror books. Come on. <clears throat> let's, get, let's, let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Like, no. No. All right. All right. October 30th. I hope you guys join us. Spice and Wolf. Spice and Wolf. Cute anime style. Uh, Don't say that because you don't know what it is, actually. True. So, all right. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, everyone.